What up guys? Alright, so the look that I did today is called Burning Burning Inferno. I'm losing my light. Yeah. And um it's a look inspired by Julie G713 um and hers was Burning Sunset. And it's kind of different for me. Um I have purple liner, but I like yellow and it's in a rainbow motion. So it's yellow in the middle rainbow orange, rainbow purple, then a darker purple, and then my highlight color. But um, Dorothy wanted me to do this look, so this is for you guys. And um, we'll see, she'll be the judge. I'll go over there a little bit later and she'll let me know um, how close I got to it. If you wanna check out, um, in the description box, I'm gonna put a link to that video um, of Julie's. And just shout out to her, she's like the absolute best. I believe that she used false lashes, of course I didn't. But yeah, there's the look, Burning Inferno. It's got yellow, orange, purple, and then a dark purple, and then like a cream colored highlight. It's not typical for um, winter, as seen as I was like three inches of snow outside. But um, yeah, I'm just having fun. And as you can see, I haven't even done anything with myself today. Um, I'm just gonna put my snowsuit on and head out the door. So if you wanna see um, how I achieved this look, and it's something different, so at least check it out. Check out my video, subscribe to my channel, blah, blah, blah. All right, here I go, guys. <laughs> All right, so I used my Too Faced Shadow Insurance today to um, prime my eye, and then I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil on Milk as a um, base. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come up just a little from the crease. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna swipe just a little underneath. Okay. Make sure that's not creased. My increase a little. Okay. Now I'm going to be taking my small little uh, smudge brush, and I'm going to be picking up. Now in Julie G's um, tutorial, she had the uh, Sugar Pill Cosmetics Burning Heart Palette. I don't have that palette, so I am going to be using my Manly 120. All right, so the yellow color that I'm gonna be picking up first is this one here. And then when I go to pick up my orange, shoot, I believe it's this one, yeah. It's that orange there. So anyway, I'm gonna be picking up that yellow and I'm gonna be basing it in the middle here. Just start in the middle and then just sort of build up from side to side. This looks a little different than like the normal looks that I, the looks that I normally do, I guess I should say, because it's sort of just like built up from the middle. I'm just sort of building. All right. I mean, you really want to pack that yellow one. You're going to lose some of it, but. So as you can see, I've left a little space here and a little space here, and there's my yellow. Now I'm going to be taking an even smaller, more compact, um, like smudgy brush, and I'm going to be picking up the orange that I showed you. All right, and I'm just going to build on top of that. So start off where you left off, right up again. And it's going to look clownish. Um, in the beginning, because when I started doing it, I was like, "Well, I'm not going to be able to wear this." But okay, now once you pack it on in the sort of rainbow motion, you're going to pull it down into the yellow so that those two are blended. And you see that? Now, like I said, it's going to look a little, a little clownish, but, okay. 
And there's that. And you also have to make sure you know that it's even, but when you do both of your eyes at the same time, it's going to be more even. I think I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, so you guys can get a, just a little better look at what I'm doing. Okay, now, having done that, I'm going to take my fat, it's a Face Secrets um, brush that I got from Sally's, and I'm going to be taking the other side of my Manly 120 palette, and I'm going to be using two purples. This purple first, and then when I go on later, I'm going to be using that darker purple. So there's the two there. So picking up the lighter purple, and I'm going to like try to get it, this is a fat brush, I want to get it like on the tip more, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to be placing that right kind of where I left off with the orange. And you're going to go into the crease like I'm doing into the crease and just sort of back forth, back forth, there we go. And then also pulling that down so that it's blended. My little sister Dorothy, we watched this tutorial, it's Julie G713 I believe, um, and hers was called Burning Sunset. I think that I'm going to call mine like Inferno Eyes or something. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. But um, Dorothy asked me to do this and I told her that I would try. So if you want to check um, Julie G713 at YouTube, um, Burning Sunset is the look and you guys can see um, how close I got to hers. I think I did a really good job. Alright, and... So with my fluffy dome brush, I'm going to be taking that darker purple color and I'm just going to sort of go over it and then go up a little bit, like go over the other purple and then kind of go up. Oh, I love this one. Alright, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of my yellow, so I'm just going to pat a little more yellow on there. Okay, and then for my highlight, I'm just going to be taking a nice creamy color, nothing too fancy. I'm going to be using that color there, and uh, I'm going to be using a fluffy uh, fat shadow brush, this one here. Just picking that up and tapping off the excess, patting that on, and blending that down. There we go. Wow. And she lined her eyes with purple. I don't even remember what purple that she used. But um, the purple that I'm going to use is in my Sephora Blockbuster palette. It's a big, huge contraption. So I'm not going to pick it up. You guys have seen it. I've used it before. And it's a cream liner that's in there. And I'm going to be using this... Um, it's a little, like it has a, the spoolie on one end and then the eyeliner part on the other. I'm going to be using this eyeliner part and I'm going to be picking up that purple that's in there and it's almost gone because I've used it a lot. I think I used it in my orange burst, um, oh sorry about that. I think I used it in my orange burst tutorial. Well anyway, there's the purple on there if you can see it. No, okay. And I'm going to line the bottom part of my eye. That's why I put a little bit of the NYX on here. And I'm just going to line the lash line with it. I'm not going to line the table of the eye. Alright, and then I'm going to go on the top and just, I mean a thin, thin line of purple. Just to tie it in. Okay. Alright, yeah. I'm going to take a cute 
paste it and I'm sort of clean up the bottom because um, it's a little bit thick. And I've already put some concealer on, so I don't need to do that. And this is just an eyeshadow look. I'm not going to be doing anything else with my face. It's like super flipping snowy outside, and i got to put a snow suit on. But my hair is not even done because I'm about to put a hat on and go on out the door. Go shovel some snow at Mama's house. Yay. Anyway, I'm going to top it off with my Falsies uh, Black Drama. Yep, Black Drama. Wow, it's really pretty. It's just probably more of a summery sort of look. I'm gonna go on the bottom here. All right, and there we are. Wow, it's gonna be cold. I don't know. What did I say? Something inferno? Mm-hmm. Today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, did something different, sort of built up. I'm going to try that again on some different colors. Um, but yeah, when I saw it, I was like, wow, I wouldn't even be able to wear that. And look, doesn't even look bad. Alright, you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel or check out some more videos. It's youtube.com slash crownjewel602. Alright, peace YouTube.